Hi there, Joey from dayjobhacks.com. Today I'm gonna to show you how I build massive email lists for my affiliate marketing campaigns. I'm gonna show you some examples of how I do it and the exact steps you need to take in order to build an email marketing list. Now, building a list is extremely important for affiliates, especially because we have something that we own at the end of the day, which is the email list. In fact, if you don't build an email list, then you don't, you, you don't even own anything at the end of the day. So this is why I build email lists. This way I own the traffic. I have full control over traffic. And when times are tough or when traffic sources are super volatile, at least I have the email list that I can continue to monetize into the future. So I'm gonna show you examples I'm going to show you how and what tools I use. There are three components to building an email marketing list. And then I'm going to show you some examples of the automation that is happening in the background. So this is all done on autopilot. So before you ask, is email marketing dead? Let me just say this. That saying has been around since I ever started in 2002 working online. That saying will be around forever. But just remember, everybody that is online pretty much has an email address. In order to use the internet, we need to have an email address. A lot of the services we use require an email address, so everybody is constantly checking their email. And in fact, the stats show that nearly half of the world will have an email address in the next year, if not more, and um, it's just gonna continue to get higher and higher and people constantly check their emails. So email marketing will never be dead, and it is one way to solidify long-term revenue from your online experiences, building a business, okay? So this is important, so I'm not gonna go and ramble on about why it's important, just understand that email marketing will never die. Okay, so with that in mind, how do we get our emails in front of people and how do we monetize it? So I'm gonna go into my computer right here and I'm gonna describe the three components, what I use to build my funnels, and how to do this all yourself with a very small investment up front. And I'm gonna show you how I do this profitably, building a list profitably, while at the same time earning money every single day. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. So let's go inside my computer here and let me just turn it on here. So there are a few tools we will need in order to build an email marketing list, okay? So the first thing you're going to need is some type of funnel. Now I'm not recommending you go and spend a whole bunch of money on click funnels or anything like that because it is overpriced and in my opinion, it just doesn't work well. Um, I know there's gonna be a lot of people that use click funnels, probably comment below, but that is fine. There is a way to build your email list without using the big, expensive, overly priced software like that. So I'm gonna show you what I use and how I do this. So you're gonna to need to be able to build funnels. So you need to understand how to build websites. We have a whole full free training at powerhouseaffiliate.com slash action dash plan and you can go there and it'll show you how to set up your website. So I use WordPress when I'm building my email lists. So I'm gonna be showing you inside my WordPress. Now before we go any further in this video, please don't forget to subscribe below, like, comment or share or ask any questions you have regarding this setup, okay? So now that we're inside, we have the ability to create our website, you know what to do there, I'm gonna assume that. Now you need a autoresponder, which is an email autoresponder. So basically you're setting up a system to house all the emails that we're going to collect. This is Aweber, this is what I use. You can get it at dayjobhacks.com slash Aweber and you can get a free month. So all of this building that you're going to do over the first month um, is free, is, is free so you can actually, you know, maybe earn all the money back before you have to start actually paying. And even if you do have to pay, I believe it's like 30 bucks a month or whatever for, on their lowest plan. Um, so with that in mind, Aweber is an excellent tool that allows you to do all the automations and sequences in the back end. Now there are other tools that you can check out that um, I've, I've talked about before. There's Active Campaign, there's Get Response, there are um, you know MailChimp. Those ones are other ones that you can check out. So anyway, let's uh, look at Aweber here. So we need a way of getting our emails from our website into Aweber so that we can set up the sequence. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. I do that with the first component that we're going to need to build, which is the opt-in bait. So you need to give someone something in return for their email address. 
Now, to do that, we just simply build an opt-in page. There's a really easy way to do that. And I'm gonna show you a couple of examples of this. So this is dayjobhacks.com. As you can see, I have the push notification asking people if they want to join my push list. But at the same time, I have this other form below, which is the email capture. And as you can see, I am giving away opt-in bait, which is something that people would like from my niche. So whatever niche you choose, you need to give people something back in return, okay? So this is what this is. You can really do anything here as opt-in bait. I've done a book here, so you can see down below. It's, it's the book that I've written. It's an ebook, and it's something that I would, you know, like myself, and, and it just kind of explains how to make money online. So if I'm sending traffic to this page, they need to be people who are interested in making money online. We'll talk about traffic in a minute. So, you can also do other things here. You can do videos, so you can say watch this video, um, but enter your email first, and then you can send people to an, an, a video sales letter maybe on the next page. But the, basically what we're talking about right now is the opt-in page, okay? So looking here, I'm gonna show you another example that we've done a case study on inside powerhouseaffiliate.com. If you go in and join the premium membership, you'll see that we've done a ton of paid traffic case studies. This is one of the case studies we did on keto diet where we get people to join the list by joining in a challenge. So there, we put out ads, you can see all the ads that we used, all the videos and stuff that we used for this ad campaign. And basically we get people to come to this page and when they click start the challenge, they have to enter their email first, okay? And then once they enter their email, they join into Aweber. As you can see, the 25 day keto challenge active list that I'm looking at here. Now you can see that when they join this list, they are also given a follow-up series, which is uh, roughly a one month of emails that are automated that you can see we've already set up. So now these are automatic emails that are constantly sent to the people that have joined. Each email either sends people to a blog post that is monetized with AdSense or an affiliate product, or the email contains a direct pitch for an affiliate product. Now, there's a whole bunch of different ways you can set up your follow-up series. I'm not gonna get into too much detail about that right now. In fact, we have a complete course on this um, Inside Powerhouse Affiliate on email marketing that you can check out. But basically, the idea here is to create um, a relationship with your subscribers. So you're not constantly pitching people and it's really just about building a relationship, giving them value and showing them real content. So you can see here, you can just create a message and Aweber will allow me to uh, you know, use a drag and drop email builder. I can create the message and then I just save it into wherever, uh, wherever I want in this follow-up series. And I can, as you can see, I can move them around. I can change the amount of days that people have to wait. So you can see this one goes two days after, six days after, two days after. It's just kind of um, the way I've set it up. Um, you can test and tweak different methods here. Um, going back, so now that we have the opt-in page built, how did I actually build that opt-in page? Well, I use a tool called um, Optimize Press. So let me just show you that inside. So inside your WordPress dashboard, assuming you have WordPress installed, as you can see inside the dashboard, I've installed a plugin called Optimize Press 3. You can get that at dayjobhacks.com slash Optimize Press. And this is the tool I use to build all of my email capture pages, as well as the funnel pages, which I'm gonna show you in a second here. So building the funnel is important because what we're gonna do here, and I, well, first let me just show you how to build a page really fast. It's super easy. Inside Optimize Press, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna integrate your Aweber with Optimize Press. So once you've got the plugin and you've installed it onto WordPress, simply click on integrations and you can actually just add in Aweber. So you, I'm already connected, but all you would do is just connect, add new integration, select Aweber, and give it access to your Optimize Press. Now they're connected. Now every time I create a page here, I can create a new form. So let me just show you how I do that. So I would just create new page quickly. And what I wanna do here is I can choose from one of their many templates. There's tons of templates in here that you can choose from. Um, they're all professionally designed, so it's really easy to set up your own squeeze page really fast. So as you can see, I'm not paying overly priced monthly commissions to some affiliate out there that's pitching ClickFunnels. I'm actually just buying a program where I, you know, I pay a much less fee per 
per month and I think they have a yearly membership and a monthly or even a one-time fee you could check that out but anyway check it out landing pages here now I'm gonna just click one let's just say I want to build a diet list here so I'm gonna use this template and let's just go testing and now I'm gonna create the page you put the page title that you want to use and now inside it's going to automatically load up the optimized press feature here. And now as you can see, I can edit all of this stuff. I can change the text, I can drag and drop new things into my page if I want, or I can just use the template as is. So let me just undo what I just did there. What I wanna show you here quickly is how to integrate your form. So basically all you do is you click on this where it says enter your email, and now you're gonna click on opt-in form and then you just select this integration option, edit the integration, you're gonna select Aweber. Now it's asking me to pick the list. So I'm gonna pick the list that I've already set up on Aweber. Simply just go into Aweber and create a new list and call it whatever you want. Now I've selected the 25 day keto challenge here. So what I'm gonna do is click next step and now is where it gets important. What I usually do is test whether I want the first name or last name and email, but for this case, I'm just going to collect the email. The GDPR, I usually leave off unless I'm targeting the European countries. Next, the this is where we get into the next part of this funnel, which is the tripwire offer, okay? So the tripwire is basically where we're going to try and sell something immediately after the person subscribes to the email list. So what I'll do here is I'll set up a redirect URL. So as soon as someone enters their email and hits yes or enter or whatever, then they're sent to this domain here that I select. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a tripwire page, which is basically where we're trying to set up a quick landing page for an offer related to what we are collecting the email for. Now there's other options here. You can basically just send somebody to a page that says, thank you, please go check your email. And what we have promised you is going to be in that email. Make sure you whitelist us, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to show you two examples of that here in a second. Okay. So we, the redirect URL here in this case would be the landing page and I'll show you how that works. And then once we are done here, just hit next step and complete and then it'll ask you to save and then you'll have your page. So that is how I did that on the 25 day keto challenge. So if we go into the page now, you're going to see what happens. So if I click here to start the challenge, I'm going to enter a test email here and I'm going to see what happens. So once they click here to begin, this is where the redirect URL kicks in and now it is sending them to a landing page where I'm trying to sell a product, okay? Now, obviously you have to test this and tweak it and try different landing pages, but this page is also a page built on Optimize press, okay? So you can get these templates and then just create another landing page and then put that in as your redirect URL in your form. And this is what is called a tripwire offer, okay? So I'm trying to make money immediately after getting people into my list. So that offer that I'm pitching here is a, a cost per sale offer that you can get on any CPA network. If you don't know what CPA marketing is, check out our courses at powerhouseaffiliate.com on CPA affiliate marketing. But what we are doing here is running a straight sale keto diet offer that pays out $100 US per sale, okay? So we're actually getting more money uh, in the front end than the uh, customer is actually paying. So as an affiliate, running CPA affiliate offers is the way to go here if you wanna monetize your, your funnel in the front end, okay? Now all the money we make in the back end is actually just additional revenue, long term, you own something and you're building a business, okay? So here is what is going on here. So we're setting up what is called a tripwire offer. After that, people go into the follow-up series and now they're getting everything sent to them in the back end. That's exactly how we do it. Now I'm gonna show you another example. Dayjobhacks.com does not use a tripwire offer. In fact, I just go onto a video and I tell people to go check their email because I don't want to give them a tripwire offer right now. I even tell people normally you would get a tripwire offer right now, but you're not getting one because I'm just trying to be original here, okay? So you can test different things build a relationship with your audience. Let's see if it lets me in here. You can see now the one-time offer page is actually no upsells. Guess what? No upsells or tripwires. And then it's a video of me telling people to go check their email, what they're about to get and all of that stuff. So two different, completely different styles. For this one, in the back end, I'm sending emails, content and all the stuff related to my niche. 
showing people how to make money online, building value, before I try and sell them anything or pitch any types of products that I use in my daily day-to-day -day business. So whatever your niche is, whatever you're doing online, it doesn't really matter. What you're gonna to wanna to do is keep testing these different pages after people have already entered their email address, okay? So we've talked about the opt-in page, we've talked about the tripwire offer. Now let's quickly talk about the autoresponder and then we'll talk about traffic to these pages, okay? So first, don't forget to subscribe below because there's more coming on this topic. We're gonna to talk about open rates and all the other stuff about email marketing that is important as you continue to build out your business. But for now, I'm gonna try and keep this video a little shorter, so let's just talk quickly about the autoresponder. As you can see, when you come in here, the open rates are gonna to start to go down as people get more and more messages. You can come in here and you can start seeing what, what percentage of people have opened these emails, okay? Uh, you're gonna to wanna to keep an eye on this open rate. Generally speaking, this open rate right here, the first message should be above 50%. So as you can see, I need to work on that first message headline, okay? Obviously, I'm not connecting with my audience here. So when people are entering their email, actually a lot of people are probably entering this funnel because they're watching videos like this where I use this as an example. So a lot of people probably don't even open these emails. They're just trying to see how my funnel works because I'm using this as an example, okay? However, the open rate should be over 50% on your first message. In fact, it should be as high as 80% in most cases if you're doing really, really targeted traffic to your uh, squeeze page, okay? So as you continue down, you wanna keep this number above 20% on the open rates. <clears throat> That's an average, I mean, the higher the better, 30, 40% would be really nice, but um, it's kinda hard to keep people engaged unless you're sending out really, really good content and building a relationship. So as you can see here, for the first three, <coughs> or four messages, I'm getting you know, above 20%, and then it starts to fall right around here. Um, so this could be because of the headline, it could be because uh, maybe they're just getting sick of the emails, maybe it was sent too soon after the second email, or what, maybe it was sent too soon after the previous email, I mean, or who knows, right? So you gotta keep testing your headlines, coming in and finding ones that just aren't working. Like this 12.5%, <coughs> probably not a good message to be in here, ketogenic alcoholic beverage guide. So probably most of the people on my list aren't drinking alcohol. Maybe they're real health freaks and they just don't care about the alcohol beverage guide. So maybe I need to move that out. Here's one at 10.9. Hey, did this help lose weight yet? So that doesn't even really make sense. Maybe that headline needs to be fixed so that when they see it in their subject box or in their inbox that they actually click on it and open it, okay? So that's important. Um, I usually set up a 30-day autoresponder, sometimes even shorter, seven to 10 messages. After that, every message after that is a broadcast. So people are moved automatically from this list into a broadcast list. And to do that, you can just simply come into list options and you can click on list automation. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna set up rules for when people say they hit message 15, they're automatically moved to my broadcast list, at which point they get only broadcasts, okay? So you can, again, test your automations. So now lastly, how do we get traffic to our squeeze pages? Um, one traffic source that I recommend, well actually let's talk about two traffic sources. What I've been using a lot for day job hacks is YouTube. That is why you're watching this video. I send people to day job hacks all the, all the time. Day job hacks is part of a training program that shows people that building content online in fact does work and you can actually make a lot of money doing it, okay? So a lot of the traffic coming here comes from YouTube. Um, and you can either do paid traffic or you can make your own videos um, for your niche. Whatever niche you're in, you can do videos. You don't have to be the face of your business. I always say that. You can make videos about your business or about your niche um, using other services online or you can just build text presentations or whatever it is. Um, secondly, for the diet one that we did, we did this presentation inside Powerhouse Affiliate, a full case study showing the advertisements and everything on Facebook. We used Facebook, we bought ads, sent them to this page, and we used the Facebook pixel to help us gather leads for a lot cheaper. In fact, by the end of this case study, we were a little bit below a dollar per lead for the, for the leads coming into this funnel. We tested a few different pages. We could have done a lot more work on it, but as you can see in the case study, we showed the ads, the targeting options, everything we did 
to get it below a dollar per lead. So if we're getting $100 after they enter their email for that offer that I'm pitching, then I would only need 100 leads to break even. So if I got 100 leads and I got, you know, a 1% conversion rate, I would break even. But the conversion rate could vary. Sometimes it goes up as high as 3 to 5% depending on your your next page in the funnel. So inside Powerhouse Affiliate, you can get the rest of this training on the email setup as well as the case studies as you'll see inside the members area at Powerhouse Affiliate. You can come down and check out the one on Facebook you'll see the entire campaign set up for you. You can also come in and check out the, the, the further training on email marketing, which is in our bootcamp here. And the second course in the bootcamp goes on about email list building right here, the build your own asset email list building course, start the course, track your progress and all that stuff. And then continue on, we talk about CPA affiliate marketing as well, more in-depth courses on traffic generation, but uh, hopefully that video is good for now to get you started on what you need to do to start building your own email marketing list. Hopefully we'll see you in the next videos. Please subscribe. Thanks again for watching.